Welcome back everyone. In this video I would like to discuss how to change the structure of the tessellation from one type to the other. For instance, how to change the hexagonal based tessellation into a square or triangular based one. This I believe will help you to explore design possibilities faster uh, using the same grasshopper code uh, with minor changes. Okay, so we have uh, this code, and uh, this is uh, very similar to the code we generated in the previous videos. So we have the hexagonal component uh, from lunchbox here. And uh, we are kind of organizing our data uh, using the prone component. And then we're kind of establishing the internal uh, structures for the star pattern. And we have our points in here and then we started to connect uh, these points to each other to establish our star pattern. Okay, And this is basically what we are doing here. Um, and then everything uh, connected to this grip component. Okay, And if we want to change the shape of the star, we have this sphere component that kind of uh, uh, intersect with the lines uh, here. And if we change the size of the sphere, we kind of control the star parametrically. Okay, so uh, let's start now by looking uh, into changing the structure of this hexagonal tessellation into a different one. So I have preferred several components in here. And uh, these are basically all from Lunchbox, so you can explore with these components here. Uh, the first one I'm going to start working with is the diamond component, okay? So um, if I disconnect the hexagonal component and then I connect my diamond component over here, uh, you, you will see that I don't have any kind of result. And the reason is because this prone command, this prone command over here is kind of filtering all of the um, all of the results coming from this explode command that have less than six, and in the diamond case, um, uh, the vast majority of them has kind of four. So I'm going to create a slider uh, that goes from uh, from one to uh, to six, and in this case, I'm setting my slider to four, and then connect it to n one, and you'll see I started to right away seeing part of the result. Now, this is a, a, a diamond shape pattern, and you can change the shape of the pattern by of changing the U values over here. We can also control the, we can also control this pattern using the same sphere command that we created earlier, okay? Um, so let's uh, try a different kind of uh, tessellation. Let's uh, try the uh, triangular tessellation over here from Lunchbox again. Let me disconnect that. And I will set my slider to three. And I will connect the triangular tessellation over here. And you see now I have uh, these kind of uh, triangles over here. And I have my star pattern kind of in between. As you can see, we have some of them a little bit kind of distorted uh, proportion-wise, and uh, the reason is these cells also uh, kind of have three segments, um, and therefore the uh, the prone command is not filtering those. Um, we also can change the size of these. And we also can change the size of the geometries we have in the same way. Okay? And now let's try the uh, skewed quads component. And let us set our uh, slider into four. And then we can connect this off. And also, again, you see a different structure with the same design. You can also change this parameter over here. To control the pattern. 
Okay, so let us now try the staggered quad panels, which is the one over here. So if I connect this to here and make sure my slider is four, set to four, I'll be able to kind of see this pattern over here. And again, also we can change the values in control pattern. Uh, we can also change um, this point over here, which is also going to give us some interesting shape as well. And we can actually do that for all of them. Uh, so let's start connecting this here. So let's try to go back to our original pattern. And if I set this into six, yeah, you'll be able to see that I kind of um, changed the shape of my pattern just by controlling uh, where the point just by controlling the location of this point over here okay so um, that's it for this tutorial uh, thank you and I will see you in the next one